Hey guys, Dr. Do Snippets here, and welcome to day five of my 10 days of Christmas 2013. Halfway through already. Can't believe it. Okay, today I'm doing something quite cool. It sort of follows on from the last two days. It's a top 10, but I'll uh, get onto it in a second. First thing we've got to do is the shout out winner. Now, today's shout out goes to. Oh, I've got to start doing this. Doctor Who Fan 11. Now, Doctor Who Fan 11. Go look at his channel because he's done something very interesting. He's making his own audio books and putting them on YouTube. And i got to say, they've got great potential. Go subscribe to him because I really don't think you want to miss some of his future work. Because although at the moment they're a bit rough around the edges, it's got really good. Yeah, it's really promising. And he has also said that he's going to be making more videos more frequently every two days. So uh, go check it out. Doctor Fan 11, I would really keep an eye on his channel. It looks very good. So that's today's shout out. Now today's suggestion, once again, came from a couple of people. Uh, this time, the first person and the second person to suggest it were two minutes apart. But I'm sorry, I have to go with the first person who suggested it. And it's someone who suggested a previous idea. It is Dalek Cyber again. And uh, their idea was to... Do my top 10 new series episodes. So here we go. My top 10 episodes. And number 10 is a prequel actually. It's The Night of the Doctor. Um, Night of the Doctor. Definitely up there. It's one of my favourites. Because oh it was just so brilliant. Had Paul McGann back. I remember watching it. I'm like no. Paul McGann. Um, yeah. So Paul McGann has definitely uh, made that episode for me. Just having his regeneration. It was the right thing to do. Uh finally clear his doctor up it would have been great to see him in more television adventures but uh, just having his regeneration made the episode for me and it was really brilliant that they actually went to the effort of making a prequel to John Hurt's Doctor by actually bringing about the 8th Doctor and Paul McGann always said he'd be happy to do it so I'm glad they went to the effort of doing it and number 9 is The Angels Take Manhattan love this episode purely because I uh, thought Amy and Rory's Goodbye it was absolutely brilliant. Absolute, probably the saddest scene in Doctor Who ever. The uh, when Amy leaves, and uh, it's in New York, and New York is awesome. I love New York. Number eight is an old story. It's Dalek from series one. Uh, loved this episode. Seeing the Dalek mutant, uh, loved it. Um, uh, the only other time I think I've got a Dalek moment that was cool is actually when Dalek sec in. Uh, Daleks in Manhattan, similar title to the last one, uh, opens up and you see all his long tentacles, it's really cool. But no, uh, Dalek was a great episode to bring the Daleks back into the new series, absolutely awesome. Number seven is the Impossible Astronaut slash Day of the Moon. Brilliant, 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 loved the silence. I remember at first I was so disappointed when I found out they were aliens, not like a mystical thing, but absolutely loved them. Loved the whole Series 6 arc. Best series ever, in my opinion. Uh, we're just like, when are we going to get to what happened with the astronaut in the first few minutes of the show? And it wasn't answered to the end. Uh, yeah, having an astronaut in a lake in Utah is awesome. I do hope to one day go to that lake. Uh, lake Powell, it's called. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Following on from this, at number 6, we have The Wedding of River Song. Uh, this episode was great because it basically just revealed everything we've been waiting for for six months. Basically, that's why I like it. And the actual episode content of it was just one subject and it's sorting out everything we've been wondering. So it's a great episode. Into my top five. And at number five is The Stolen Earth slash Journey's End. Brilliant. <laughs> These are my top ten episodes, so obviously they're all going to be brilliant. But putting all of the characters from spin-offs and everything together and then just having Davros again... Rose again, even though they keep see they keep trying to bring Rose back, and now it's just like okay, her story's over. Bye. That was years ago, but back then it was really awesome to finally see Rose back, and the real Rose, not some weird time lord bomb galaxy eater thing. Um, and having a re like <laughs> regeneration cliffhanger at the end was like, it was lots of us genuinely thought David Tennant would be leaving, we thought it was going to be a massive surprise, but obviously, hand in a jar and uh. Sorry, I nearly fell over. And uh, apparently that is going to be counted as a full regeneration in this year's Christmas special. 
So that is number five. And number four, we have the 11th hour. Lovely episode. I love all episodes of like, a brand new Doctor, like still in his predecessor's clothes. Awesome episode, Prisoner Zero, and having the silence mentioned right from the start of Matt Smith's reign. Reign? <laughs> Era. Alright, reign will do. He is a god. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, 11th hour, definitely one of my favourites. Into the top three, and at number three, we had The End of Time Part 2. Uh, awesome conclusion for David Tennant. Having the Time Lords. Seeing all the former companions, probably the most spectacular regeneration ever, was just pretty cool. And it's one of those episodes that I still go back and watch because even today you're still kind of in a way getting over David Tennant, uh, like grasping the concept of David Tennant has left. Even though if you think to yourself, David Tennant's the Doctor, that doesn't sound right anymore. But the fact he's left still sounds a bit weird. It's kind of hard to explain. Maybe it's just me. At number two, we have Utopia. Uh, Loved it, bringing Captain Jack back and having Derek Jacobi as Professor Yana and John Sim, the regeneration of the master. Oh, that was a great episode. Always going to be one of my favourite. In fact, it, if you asked me this not so long ago, it would have been number one. But it has been replaced by number one, which is, obviously it's the day of the Doctor. Number one is the day of the Doctor. Uh, I know lots of people were disappointed by it, and it's mainly the classic series fans. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the classic series, but I know lots of people who are very disappointed by the new series because they love the classic series, and fine, fair to them. But I found The Day of the Doctor absolutely flawless in almost every way. The only bit that annoyed me was the fact they just seemed to let leave a load of Zygons in the Tower of, Tower of London. It's like, sorry, did I miss something? But... It was absolutely incredible. Loved every minute of the day of the Doctor. Definitely my number one. And no matter what you say about the episode, can't change that. Because it is awesome. And that's what I meant by if you'd asked me this a few weeks ago, Utopia would have been number one. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Guess what? Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. So, uh, I'll see you then. Bye!